Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to perform a mail merge using Gmail and Google Drive slash Google Docs, basically using a Google spreadsheet. This is a question that was recently brought up at one of the hands-on trainings I was conducting and I haven't touched upon it in any of my videos yet so it was a really good question and I figured that a lot of you could definitely take advantage of this especially if you are with an organization that is currently moving or has already moved to Google Apps. So I hope this video helps and enjoy it. Okay, so here I am in my email, and the first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a spreadsheet to run our mail merge from. So I'm just going to go up to the top bar here and click on the drive symbol. And I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. If you want a detailed tutorial on how to create a spreadsheet, you can watch my four-part video series for 2013 on using Google Drive. Uh, but real quick, to do it in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and click the big red Create button. I'm going to hit Spreadsheet. And now uh, I explained in some of my other videos why it's important, but the first thing you want to do is give your spreadsheet a name. So we're just going to call this Mail Merge Test. Okay, now you might already have a spreadsheet that you've created that you want to use for your mail merge. If it's already in Google Apps, great. If it's in Microsoft Word format, you're probably just going to have to upload and convert it into Google Drive, which again is covered in my four-part series on using Google Drive. Uh, but I'm just going to put a quick mail merge document together here. So the way it generally works is we want the column headings to be the fields we're going to use in our mail merge. So I can just put name, we can put age, and then we'll just put location some real simple data there that we can use. So we're just going to populate a list John, Jane, Jim, and I'm sorry we're also going to need an email address here so that Google knows where to send the email. So we've got all the fields. I've got John, Jane, and Jim in here. Let's just put in some ages. We'll say 35, 40, and 45. Location is US, Canada, and Mexico. And then the email address, obviously you're going to want to put a real email address in there. I'm actually going to put the email address I'm using on this account in here though so we can see that it's going to work. So uh, I'm going to put my email address in here for John. So I'm just going to put AnsonAlexander88 at gmail.com. This is my test account. And then uh, for these email addresses I'm just going to use Jane at example.com. Hopefully I'm going to get a returned email saying that these email addresses don't exist when I send this. So I've got my fields here with all my data and this is the data that I'm going to include in my email. I'm going to put the person's name, their age, and their location in the actual email. But now I need to do something special to this form or this spreadsheet. And what I need to do is I need to go up here to tools and I need to go to the script gallery. We actually have to add a script to this email. So there's a bunch of mail merge scripts. The one that I have used is called yet another mail merge. So if you just search yet another, you'll notice here's the one that I use. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to install this script. I've used it before. It's safe. Don't worry. And you can see that it's says it's installed. We need to authorize it, so I'm going to go ahead and authorize it. And grant access to my contacts in Gmail. It says now I can run the script. So I can just close out this window. And you'll see that I now have a menu up here called Mail Merge. Now, before we actually run this Mail Merge, we have to create an email to use with our Mail Merge. So I'm going to go back to Gmail, and I'm just going to compose a draft email. I'm not going to try the new preview now. Okay, so in the to field I'm gonna leave that blank because Gmail is gonna automatically fill that in for us. In the subject I can put whatever I want but I can also use some of the data in my mail merge in the actual subject of the email. So I could say hello John, Jane, or Jim. Now in order to get their actual name in here I have to enter some special text. I need to take whatever the column title is for the name field, so in this case it's just name, and I need to put a few things around it. And You'll see what I mean here when I do it in this email. So what I need to type in order for this mail merge to work is dollar sign, percentage, 
what my actual field is, so in this case it's name, and then another percentage. And that's going to pull their name out of the document and put it in the subject. So I could just leave that as my subject. And then I could put in here, I know that you are. And now, if I want to say their age, I need to again pull this field, the age field, from my document. So I'm going to put the same symbols around it, dollar sign, percentage, age, and then percentage. And then I'll put years old and that you are located in, again, I'm going to use some data from my sheet. So it's dollar sign percentage. I have to remember that it's location, then another percentage. And then I can finish my sentence. I could type more to my email if I wanted to. I could have added more fields in here if I had wanted to. You can really do whatever you want with this. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that we save this as a draft. So I'm just going to hit save now. And then we're done composing our email. So we're going to go back to our spreadsheet. And now I'm going to go up here to this mail merge drop down. And I'm going to click standard merge. Now I'm going to get a box that pops up. And here's where I can select my email. You can see I have the template listed here based on the subject of that email. It's already got it in here that I just composed in Gmail. So I'm going to choose this template as my mail merge template. Then you can go ahead and put your name. So it says who it is sent from. And then you can go ahead and hit send mails. Now remember, I should get one that says, hello, John, I know that you are 35 and located in US. Because I put in my email address for that email. <clears throat> also notice, once the merge is complete, it adds this field called merge status and it is filled in as done. So if you try and run another merge with the spreadsheet, it's not going to work because it says the merge is already done. We don't want to do it twice. So here's a little trick. If you do want to run another merge with this spreadsheet, go ahead and just select the row where it says merge status, right click, and delete that column, and you will then be able to run another merge with that spreadsheet. That's just a little tip there for you. So now let's go check my inbox and see if I received my email yet. Looks like I have, and here it is. Look, it says, hello, John. I know that you are 35 years old and that you are located in US. Now, this might be an example where uh, grammar depends on the country. So I could have gone in here and for um, US and Canada, I could have put the US. And then Canada and Mexico, you want them without the the. So that's just, you know, a, a slight thing that came up in this particular mail merge, but your mail merge is going to be specific for your situation. So things should be different. So I hope this helps. Uh, it's definitely a really useful feature if you need to send invoice reminders to a whole bunch of people at once, or you want to send out a newsletter, uh, just a whole bunch of different things that you can do with these mail merges. And you can do it right here in Gmail and Google Docs, no need for any external applications on your computer. It works great. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them on the comments section on AntsonAlex.com or here on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.